In a recent CBS News YouGov poll, the progressive platform many Democrats are running on in 2020 got a boost from the electorate. 53 percent of the country says that Democrats' approach to 2020 should be advancing a more progressive agenda than the country had under Barack Obama. And a message that many of the candidates running with the support of just Democrats have wholeheartedly embraced. They range from established congresswomen to first-time challengers. So joining us to discuss their strategy for the 2020 race is Executive Director of Justice Democrats Alexandra Rojas. Alexandra, it's great to see you. Great Thanks. to see you. Thanks. So I think one of the more interesting things that we can cover with you is about what governance under a Justice Democrats dominated Congress would look like. Obviously, we're not there, but the vision that's being pushed by your organization going up against corporate Democrats, what should the, co what should the behavior of the Democratic caucus in an ideal Justice Democrats world, what would that look like? Um, well, I mean, I think Right now, right? Yeah. Every two years of the House cycle. Yeah. And so as a small dollar organization, you see us investing in a you know, key number of races where we think mm -hmm. we can really turn the needle. And that strategy has shifted over time to accommodate to that. And so I think we're under no illusion that you know, it's going to take a really long time to get a caucus Yeah, full it won't of, happen tomorrow. It right? won't happen tomorrow, exactly. but, but that's but, the goal, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say that we, we need to, and, and what has shown is that if you continue to build a strong caucus of folks that aren't tied tied to personality mm -hmm. or political ambition, but they are tied to the solutions that we know that we need in this very moment, and that they're beholden to the people, uh, the movement that they are representing from the people in their districts, right, and rejecting corporate PAC donations, that, you know, 30, 40 of those types of people uh, in Congress can send a strong message to the rest of the Democratic caucus to basically uh, you know, do what's necessary, because uh, I think that's what we're talking about, right? The science, the technology is on our side when it comes to transforming our economy, yeah. right, to create 100 percent renewable energy. It's certainly possible when we've put a man on the moon, electrified highways to reform our health care system to make sure no American dies uh, because of, you know, protecting pharmaceutical companies or um, uh, hospitals. Right. These things are all all possible, and I think what's missing from Congress is the political will to do so. And yeah. so, Justice Democrats is trying to be an antidote to to that system mm -hmm. by uh, running candidates that are accountable to those movements and swearing off corporate donations, but also through their lived experiences are ready to fight like hell for these policies. Mm -hmm. One of the things that's been really exciting for me to watch in 2020 is there was this idea when AOC got elected that like, okay, well that's fine in New York City, right? But that kind of politics doesn't really play in other places. But here we've seen her out on the trail mm -hmm. with Senator Sanders attract, attracting these huge crowds in places like Iowa and other rural areas where you wouldn't necessarily see that connect. And I think it speaks to the fact that this conventional wisdom that progressive economics, Medicare for all, Green New Deal, et cetera, don't play in the heartland is exactly wrong. That's not that's not the case at all, as we're seeing in some of the races that you're playing with and also in the response that AOC has received across the country. That's absolutely right. I think people um, are hungry for big ideas in a moment of such crisis where uh, young people, and not just young people, just working people of all backgrounds have felt for decades, right, wages remain stagnant, uh, rents skyrocket rocket, uh, uh, are knowing about the climate crisis for 30 years and not seeing politicians do anything about it because they're taking money from fossil fuel companies. People, even if they're not attuned to the inner workings of how D.C. work every day, understand and can feel very really, I think, the problems that we're facing right now. And so the people that, you know, Democrats and Republicans call to phone on the polls, right, aren't the ones that you guys should be talking to. You should be talking to the voters that, uh, you know, are disaffected by the political system, that want to see politicians that are actually going to fight, and not just fight for anything, right? They have to do it by saying, we're going to swear off corporate donations, and they have to talk about big ideas because they know that we've put a man on the moon before. Mm -hmm. We've electrified the highways before. Like, we can do all of these things. We just need leaders that are going to withstand corporate interest to actually be able to present these. The things. most common criticism I hear of Justice Democrats is, sure. okay, you know, that's great. But the new Democrats caucus, we're the ones who actually took back the House. We're the ones who beat the Republicans in the Trump districts. And we ran on a much more moderate, you know, pro, pro you'd call them pro-corporate agenda. What's the response to that? I mean, I think there are two things. I think the Democrats of 2006 look a lot different than the Democrats that they do today. So Joe Biden is running on a public option. And when he was running for president two times ago, <laughs> yeah. he, you know, he was staunchly against it. And so they're 
going along with us. Um, and so I see Justice Democrats really as a uh, tip of the spear. Uh, a colleague of mine actually yeah. came up with that term, tip of the spear, in terms of really pushing the Democratic Party to bring out the best in what Democrats can be. And it gives room for Nancy Pelosi to do things like what she's doing right now, which is call for impeachment after Rashida Tlaib, Maxine Waters, AOC, and all of these other strong progressive women of color came out really early on. Same thing with climate, right? It gives Republicans and Democrats room to, like, actually move forward on these issues. So they can be frustrated with the work that we're doing, but ultimately I think we're pushing the needle so that they can also be just as bold as we're trying That's ourselves different. to be. How much does the presidential race play into your strategy? Has it affected what you all are doing this cycle at all? I, I think the presidential race is extremely important. It's the election that gets the most amount of voters engaged across the country. So for us to not play in it, or at least pay attention to it, would be a serious misstep of, of our org. So we're definitely paying attention. And I think what we're looking at right now and what that poll shows is that a majority of Americans in this country want big ideas. They want Bernie or they want Warren. And together combined, they have the strongest coalition that's diverse of young people, working class people of all backgrounds. And so we're on track to do something. I think the thing that we're worried about, right, is these billionaires jumping into the race, uh, or candidates like Joe Biden or Pete Buttigieg that really represent this Republican light, corporate, more corporate side of the Democratic Party that wants to, you know, sort of compromise with Republicans, that is willing to do fundraisers with whoever and wherever. Uh, and I think that's really dangerous. And so our question at Justice Democrats is that national conversation also impacts our candidates and how can we leverage our, our supporters, right, our movement, to have the biggest impact on, on the national conversation to show that these ideas are popular, because yeah. they are. Absolutely. But, but we're out good. <laughs> Always great getting an update from you. Thank Thanks you so much, Alexandra. Thank you. Thank you. A lot more for you right after this.